This is Kenneth Yates with MMAAbsolute.com, and we're here with UFC vet Sugar Shane Nelson, who's actually, uh, I guess, uh, got a two-fight contract deal with Dream? Yeah, fair. How did that all happen? Uh, talk a little bit about how, the, did they contact you, or? Um, yeah, I just was, I was sitting at home one day, um, I got a text from JD, BJ brother, um, asking if I wanted to fight Shin Yaiyoki on, on May 28th. At first I thought he was joking, but then after we text back a couple of times, I realized he was serious and within a couple of days they sent over the contract and um, you know, I was ready to step up and take the fight. Um, then the word came down that uh, the fight's off. Um, <coughs> uh, who contacted you and told you that the fight is off? Um, it was actually the next day after I signed the contract and all that stuff. I was train. I was at the gym training. You know, cutting weight. I had I think uh, twelve pounds to cut, and uh, I had like ten days to before the fight. And um, I was over there training at the gym, and then JD, JD called me again, gave me the bad news. But uh, the bad news came with good news that there. You know, since I was already cutting weight, and you know, I was pretty much starving, and and you know, willing to take the fight on on ten days notice. They they rewarded me with a two fight deal and uh. In Dream, and um, looks like I'm scheduled to fight uh, July 16th in Dream 18. I don't have an opponent yet, but uh, pretty sure right after they start this weekend's Dream out, uh, should be fine out pretty soon. And when you found out that the fight is off, you know, to to get the chance to fight Aoki, okay, that's that's a pretty big fight. Uh, you know, you you must have been disappointed. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No, at, at the same time, it was um, kind of like a weight lifted off my shoulders because I had my work cut out and I was uh. A, a couple of weeks before I took the fight, I had pulled my grind in training, so I, I really wasn't training whatsoever. I just was going to step up and take the fight. It was pretty much an opportunity that I couldn't pass by, even though I wasn't in shape to be fighting Aoki. I figured, you know, why not Why not take the chance? The worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to lose to one of the best lightweights in the world. So um, once he told me that the fight was off, you know, I instantly started eating and stuff. That was the main thing because the weight is a problem, and in Japan, you can't go in a... Uh, in the saunas in Japan if you have tattoos and stuff, so I had a, oh. a pretty tall task to, to cut the weight. And did they give you a reason <clears throat> why the fight got... Yeah, know? yeah, they gave us a reason. Um, basically, uh, the promoter that we were talking to, Mike Hogan, said that, you know, he set up everything with Aoki's managers. They okayed the, the fight, so they sent the contract, and then when it came down to Aoki to, to sign on for the fight, um, I guess he was asking for a bigger name opponent to fight, um, is which... Right now he's fighting Rich Clemente, who has like 50 MMA fights. So I guess uh, in, I can understand his position. You know, um, he has everything to lose, nothing to gain by fighting me, and it was the exact opposite for me. So you know, I missed my chance, but who knows? Maybe it'll happen again. Mm, definitely. And with all that aside, are you still training at the academy? Yeah, um, training <coughs> super hard. After that. That fight came up on short notice. I had another big fight offered on short notice that you know I wasn't in shape for, and um, you know that just made you know let, let, kind of lit a fire under my butt. And you know I've been back in the gym training specifically for the July 16 fight. But you know hopefully if any other big opportunity fights come up, <coughs> always got to be in shape. Well, Shane, thanks for your time. It's always a pleasure. Is there anything you'd like to say to anybody watching? Um, I'd like to thank. Uh, my team here in Hilo for, you know, supporting me, having my back, and uh, all the fans on BJPen.com, and uh, all the fans in Hawaii for supporting me, and uh, my agent KO Dynasty for, um, you know, looking out for me with the fights and stuff too. Thanks, ev thanks to everybody, and thanks to Buster too for coming over here checking me out. <laughs> it's always a pleasure, man. We'll be watching and keeping everybody posted on you. Right on, thank you.